For mandatory task one, we are given that the enclosure is regular and the number of sides of the enclosure. We can input these through the web server so that the rover knows the exact corner angle for each of the corners in the polygon. Using this information as the rover traverses the enclosure, we get a more accurate map and thus a more accurate area calculation. As you can see, each one of those corners is a perfect 45 degree angle. The reason um, it is such a good angle is because it is statically allocated in the software. The side lengths are also uh, derived based on the traditional method of actually traversing through the enclosure and using the encoder ticks. As the rover is about to finish, it'll stop once it reaches its start point. The map for a regular polygon looks much better and the area calculation is also much more accurate. We will now uh, click on a location in the map to go to that location. When we uh, click on a spot, it calculates the angle to turn and the distance to travel based on its current location, which is assumed to be the origin. So as you can see, when we clicked on a location to go to there, it goes to there. The rover is initially started from the web server. The first corner that the rover reaches is ignored since the side length is unknown. From now on, the rover is going to start keeping track of all the corners. As you can see, when it reached the first corner, it determined the side length and mapped it in the GUI map. As the rover continues to progress to all of the corners in the polygon, the, rover, the map displays each of the new corners. We are only interested in the corner information and the angle of the corner and the length of the side. We are not interested in the current location of the rover. As the rover continues to progress through the sides and traverse the sides, it always attempts to maintain parallelism with the wall using the side IR sensors. The rover knows it has completed an entire traversal once it, the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. The area is then displayed in the web server. The enclosure is also completely finished in the map. You can now select a point, as we did in there, for the rover to go to, and the rover will go to that location. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> donuts, yeah. dude. Donuts. <laughs> donuts. <laughs>